Alright, this is the new MXR bass octave deluxe pedal. And I know it's for a bass guitar, but I'm going to use it with a regular guitar and see what we get with it. I just like that it's blue sparkly, which won't show up on the cheap camera, so why try, right? I'm going to hit my Luther drive into it once in a while too, just to get a little bit of growl and a little, oh, I shouldn't say growl because one of these knobs actually says growl. To get a little bit of hair, I guess, a little dirt on top of it. We'll run a Les Paul and we'll run a Jaguar amplification Jaguar twin on a clean type of setting. That's where the Luther will come in. We'll hit overdrive, just a mild overdrive once in a while. And the bass octave deluxe coming at you. Here we go now. Clean signal. Uh, bridge pickup with the knobbies basically at noon. Here we go. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go on record of saying that sound is totally awesome. Okay, back to it. <laughs> Thank you. 
I think I love this battle. Oh, poor bass players. I love this thing, man. Just when somebody comes out with a really cool bass effect, some jackass guitar player's got to do a pedal demo with a guitar and make all the other guitar players go, wow, that sounds great for a guitar. Anyway, I'm sure it sounds great for a bass as well, but I loved it. I thought it was really cool. It tracked well. Single notes only, but, you know, that's the best way to use an octave pedal anyway. And I think Jake E. Lee's about the only guy that got away with using an octave pedal on chords. That I'm aware of. I'm sure you'll let me know if I'm wrong. Anyway, MXR Bass Octave Deluxe. They're 150 bucks and built like a tank. They are blue. They are sparkly. And I think I'm going to keep this one. It's awesome. Luther Drive really liked it. I think that might be my tone for a little while. Some little double secret probation leads that I might throw out on people once in a while. Anyway, thanks for checking it out. White Coily Cable and the Gear Man Dude out. <laughs>